What's up everyone? So uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video, a couple of months at least. Obviously I did explain uh, the situation, but I won't bore you with the details and hopefully I can come back and start doing a bit more content. I don't know if it's going to be at the same intensity as it was, but yeah, the important thing is now nah, I'm getting a video out. All right, I've, I've been looking forward to it to be fair. I've been sat there for ages thinking, oh, when can I come back? When can I get another video out? And I was looking through tactics. Obviously, I've been watching other videos. I've been keeping on top of what other content creators are doing, which they're all doing fantastic. Bear in mind. All right, one, actually, is uh, I've been watching quite a lot of RDF. And yeah, the dude is 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 insane. It uh, pumps out really good content. So if you haven't watched him, I'm guessing you have. Go and check out his content because the dude's wicked. Um, but nonetheless, if you haven't checked out my channel before, because I have been away for a while, I do do a lot of tactics testing. Uh, I did do videos for FM Scout as well. Hopefully, I can go back to them uh, in the near future as well. But uh, yeah, I was having a little gander on FM Arena, and this tactic that I'm about to show you popped up. It's called Push the Right. All right, it's uh, made by a creator called Harrison, and as you can tell by the name, it focuses on the right-hand side. Not on the tactical side of things. You're not focusing on the right, but you are heavy on the right-hand side when it comes to player positions. So let's get to it, shall we? Right, before we begin, guys, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe. All right, if you like this kind of content, if you like football manager content in general. But here we are with the tactic. And as you can see, push the right is heavy on that right-hand side with the defensive wing inside forward. False nines do drop down. They do play really well. I've played this tactic. I have uh, watched the highlights. I've played it actually properly as well. And I really do like it because in some instances when you are attacking, when you've actually worked the ball forward, there's points in the game or points of the match when you've got six players in the box. <laughs> they can't defend. They can't defend six players in the box. Obviously, if you hit them on the counter, you're not going to have that many players in the box. Um, but again, with the uh, heaviness um, of, of, of attacking threat that you've got, there's some instances where you can get caught on the break. It is a little bit of a glass cannon kind of tactic. We have conceded quite a few uh, with all the teams tested. And with all the teams, we are testing with Manu, Leeds, PSG, RC Lens, Lazio, Verona, Nottingham Forest, MK Dons, and Port Vale. So top teams, elite teams, middle teams, underdogs, lower leagues, the lot. You've seen my videos before. You know exactly what we do. Uh, now and uh, yeah so here's the tactic if you're wanting all the instructions for manual input because you don't know how to download then here they are false nine left false nine right inside forward left inside forward right defensive winger right roman playmaker inverted wing back left inverted wing back right four playing defender left four playing defender right and sweep keeper set piece instructions corners defending right and left and attacking left and right, and I think I remember him saying he's borrowed some uh, set piece instructions from Zaz. So, nice one, Zaz. Um, if we go to the free kicks, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and then throw ins, defending right, left, attacking left, and right. I was going to show you penalties then. <laughs> that's how long it's been that's how long it's been since i've done a video i'm trying to get back into the groove of things uh, all right so let's go back to the tactic all right mentality is positive uh in possession fairly wide on the attack and width play out defense slightly shorter passing direct with extremely high tempo so fast football guys uh walk ball work ball into box with low crosses in transition you are counter pressing and countering and your goalkeeper's instructions are to roll it out tight to possession using offside trap much higher line of engagement standard defensive line force opposition outside on the defensive width much more often on the trigger press and prevent short goalkeeper distribution all right so there's the tactic you've got all the instructions you can i have looked on his forum i've looked on all the messages you can um mirror this tactic so if you've got players that are heavy on the right then nice you, you've got one for you if you've got players that are heavy on the left just switch it switch it around it it should work it should work just the same um so hopefully the test does okay uh and i'll see you at the end of the season 
Right then, welcome back, guys. So, we did get sacked by one club, and that was Port Vale uh, right near the end. So, that's a shame, but not every tactic is going to work with every team. You must understand this. Um, it's it's basic knowledge now. We've done quite a lot of tactics testing, obviously. I like to show a varied amount of teams for a tactics test, but when you are downloading a tactic, have a look at the players you've got. All right? Use the common sense. Use the strengths of your team to determine uh, when you're downloading tactics. For this one, obviously heavy on the right, heavy on the left. If you're going to mirror it, you want a tactic where it's going to favour those inside forwards that you've got. All right? The defensive wingers that you've got. The false nines that can hold the ball up, that can play like attacking midfielders, because that's what false nines do. All right? They do really, really well. And in some instances... All right, there's a couple of players that scored quite a lot of goals, and yes, they are for the elite teams, but people like to know what tactics are like for elite teams as well as the mid-dogs, all right, underdogs, lower league as well, and obviously the foreign leagues, uh, France and Italy. So let's start off in the Premier League uh, with Manchester United and Leeds, and it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Man U, great team, all right, great team. When you've got a great tactic, you do really, really well. Leeds, mid-ish kind of team all right again they do really really well fifth place i've seen actually some instances where you don't even have to put a tactic on leads and for some reason they do insanely well in the first season I'm, I'm not sure if it's just my games or do you lot get that all right first season in leads do surprisingly well regardless of if you've got a tactic on them or not uh, yeah i've seen it quite a lot so uh yeah manchester united did awesome coming first if we go to the player stats look fernandez he played as the inside forward on the right-hand side. Yes, he takes the uh, set pieces as well, so that would have contributed to his assist, to his goals, but he did exceptionally well using this tactic. All right, he got 28 league goals. He was top on the average ratings, top on the assists, and joint first on player of the matches as well. Uh, along with Rafina, actually, he also played on that right-hand side. Done really well for Leeds. You can see him second place on ratings, assists, and joint first on player of the matches. So, yeah, everyone did really really well but fernandez really uh really shown his quality on this tactic using him as an inside forward guy so let's go to manchester united's competitions did they win anything there we go european champions cup and the carabao cup and the league all right so they've got the treble guys which is always nice for manchester united obviously a lot better than what uh what they finished in real life so yeah all right, nice one. The beat Bayern in the final 3-2 right there. If we go to the squad then, all right, let's have a look at all the actual stats for all competitions. Fernandez getting 47 goals, 48 assists. All right, Cavani, 31. Ronaldo got 29 and 16. Rashford got in there with 27 and 13. Sancho, 17 and 17. A lot of goals being scored by a lot of players. And uh, yeah, your left back and right back do get involved a lot with them being on the attacking duty and inverted they are getting in the box just as much as anyone else um, and they're getting on the score sheets quite a lot you can see there with Dallo um, and also Shaw all right picking up four goals Dallo definitely with 14 I've right, done really really well and so did all the other teams when it comes to the left and right back uh, using that inverted wing back uh, role so yeah nice one all right full stats for Manchester United was 230 Nice, but like I said earlier, it is a little bit of a glass cannon tactic. 73 conceded for a top team like Manchester United. It's quite a lot. All right, it's definitely quite a lot. If we go to Leeds then, all right, Leeds doing really well. Fifth place. Can't moan at that for a team like Leeds. I have seen them finish high, don't mind, mind me. Um, but I've, fin I've seen them finish lower as well. So, yeah, they've done really well in their competitions. Uh, Semi-finals of the FA Cup got knocked out there. Carabao Cup got knocked out in the fourth round by Norwich. So that's a shame. We'll go straight to the squad then. Best player was Rafina. Average rating 8, 30 goals, 22 assists. Rodrigo, 21. Harrison, Bamford, Daniel James are all getting double digits on goals as well. Uh, biggest assists there. you got Rafina, Dallas, Phillips. Uh, getting double digits, 11, 13, and 22. Full stats for Leeds then was 120. Now, for a team like Leeds, mid, mid to low table, um, it's, that's a lot. That is a lot. 120 goals is a lot for them. 67 conceded again. A little bit higher, but not too bad, really, for them. So, yeah, nice one. If we actually go to the data hub then, I'll show you the last match passes. All right, you can see that you are favouring that right-hand side because that's where you've got your players, that's where you've got your attacking threat. You do have your attacking threat on the left as well. Don't don't just think you're going to be just going on that right. The tactic doesn't focus play on that right. You've just got more players there. So even though it looks on here that the right is the more attacking threat, left-hand side does bang in the goals as well because 
the right hand side's crossing them in all right they're crossing them in for the false nines crossing them in for the left sided um inside forward and it does really well to be fair the the highlights are insane i played this tactic for, for about 10 10 11 games i played it with nottingham forest to be fair because i'm a reds fan they just got promoted oh, oh yeah see you in the premier league eh? football manager 23 forest in the prem get in um but yeah they uh done really well because if you go to manchester united as well day to hub last match passes you can see a little bit heavy on the right but a little bit more consistent all right Leeds was showing you so much attack in there but this is only the one game so this is against bayern looks nice and uh yeah if we go to the general performance you can see that you're getting a lot of goals a lot of expected goals a lot of shots doing half decent on the conceding to be fair all right you're still outside uh, on the averages decent on the tackles the passes and the shots if we go to the premier league now with these two clubs let's go to the premier league stats team overview most goals scored manchester united and leeds nice one there sometimes really attacking tactics you do miss out on possession so how have they done there They've actually made the top eight, which ain't too bad, really. All right, I've done a lot of tactics tests, and I know that sometimes you sacrifice a lot of possession when you are attacking so much like these tactics do. Um, so it's nice to see them in the top eight. Leeds there sixth, Manchester United eighth. Fewest conceded, Manchester United came fourth, lot only conceding at 41. So here we are now in uh, in France, and obviously PSG are always going to top the league. It's just the team I use when you want to see the amount of goals scored, and my God, do they score a lot. Uh, RC Lens, though, are the underdogs, and they came second, so they've done exceptionally well, but you can tell by the player stats, most of it is all about PSG. Uh, Icardi and Mbappe coming first and second on goals average rating. You've got Icardi and Mbappe and Messi. Assists, Kakuta came first for RC Lens on that right hand side, guys. Uh, Lino Messi, 21 there. And then player of the matches, you've got Icardi, Kakuta, and Mbappe. So they've done exceptionally well. Go to the competitions for PSG. They didn't win the Champions League because we know Manchester United did. But the French Cup, they won and the Trophy as just champions. And if we go to the squad, all right, this is where there's a lot of goals scored now. Icardi, 56. Mbappe, 46. Messi, 22. Neymar, 21. Di Maria, 15. Ramos, Wijnaldum, 15, 15, 12. All right, again, a lot of goals for the elite teams. Guys, assists. So many players chipping in with the assists. Neymar, Messi, Di Maria, Mbappe, Icardi, Hakimi. Absolutely steamrolled it, but they won. It's an elite team in... I wouldn't say a weak league, but PSG are, <laughs> are the heavy favourites every season. So, uh, yeah, they've done really well. If we go to the full stats, it's 242. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, 73 conceded, though, for a team like PSG. That's actually pretty high. But again, I did say this was a bit of a glass cannon tactic. Now, if we go to RC Lens, exceptionally well. Second place, guys, for them. Competitions, uh, they got to the quarterfinal of the French Cup. So, again, not too bad for that team. If we go to their squad, again, a lot of players chipping in. Not on the same scale as PSG, but... 27, Kakuta, 20 goals, all right. Uh, Kalimuendo, 18 goals. Gnago, 18. And again, with the assist, only three players this time getting double digits on the assist. But Kakuta did really, really well. And Kakuta played on that right hand side, all right. And that right hand side seems to be pretty decent when it comes to Fernandez. He played on that right. Kakuta played on that right, all right. So, um, yeah, nice one. Full stats for uh, RC Lens, guys. 137 for underdogs. That's pretty high. 65 goals conceded. So, not too shabby, really. And if we go to the League 1 full stats, team overview, fewest conceded. PSG are there. Third, 49. RC Lens coming seventh. Most goals. Both teams that were tested. All right, PSG, RC Lens. And possession, PSG actually topped it. All right, so a really attacking tactic with PSG, a world-class team, we know. Uh, but they did really well on the average possession as well. RC Lens there coming third. So nice one for them. They did, uh, they did really good. All right, and again, in Italy, Lazio and Verona. Lazio coming first, done exceptionally well. Verona are underdogs qualifying for the Champions League, guys. They came fourth, and you can see on the player stats here, Mobley. Pedri or our Pedro doing awesome there with goals. Immobile scored so many, uh, done so well as well, topping the average ratings and player of the matches. So that's always good to see. And if we go to the lower leagues, all right, Nottingham Forest in the Championship also came first, guys. All right, we actually 
did all right this season in real life. Obviously, we had a really tough couple of games in the playoffs, um, but we did get promoted because we beat Huddersfield in the final. So, other than that, they did play really well. Okay, Surridge come in second on the goals, and you got Surridge and Worrell in the average ratings, and Canagle doing really well on the assists, and Canagle playing on that right hand side. Um, so yeah, nice one. And if we go down another league to MK Dons, unfortunately, they got all the way to the playoffs, but missed that in the final. Bolton beat them to it. Um, but not so many players in the player stats now. So you're coming down the leagues a little bit now. You're not going to score as many. You're not going to do as good because your players aren't as good. But again, fourth place is a decent finish. And then we all know we got sacked by Port Vale. So obviously it didn't work too bad, too much. Very well for them. <laughs> too bad. Oh, tongue twisting. All right. So yes, this is the tactic, guys. This is push the right. Obviously, you can mirror it and call it push the left. But yeah, you can find it on FM Arena. Go and download it. Go and check out all the other tactics on that website as well. Obviously, I go on that website a lot trying to get some tactics there, trying to get some content on them because they do really well and hopefully this tactic does insane for you too and uh yeah thanks for watching guys this is tucker jobs um hopefully i'll bring out more videos and hopefully you'll carry on coming back uh, to watch them so enjoy your game guys all right great tactic hope you download it it's all in the in the uh links obviously in my description if you want to go and download it. i'll also pull it on my discord as well and uh yeah hopefully i'll see you in the future see you later bye